Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Megan Herring. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup look. I just realized that I didn't even bring over my mirror, so BRB. So now that I actually have everything here to do what I need to do, I have kind of a new setup. I was against my wall this way, now I'm like against my closet. So yeah, I'm going to do my everyday makeup tutorial. Again, I'm going in with my Urban Decay primer, which I now know is discontinued, which really upset me. I had no idea until I went to check the price for you guys, and then it was freaking discontinued. I was like, why? I actually want to know why because like I really like it and it's not like they came out with a new one or anything or at least not that I found and I was like really upset about it anyways just rubbing that in in my t-zone and where I get oily as always my skin is obviously prepped and ready for makeup if you want to see how I do that go onto my channel and watch my skincare routine I like my skin to be glowy and just radiant and just healthy looking you know kind of like a fresh face makeup tutorial like that's that's what I'm trying to achieve so I'm gonna use my MAC strobe cream Ooh, should I use this or should I I either use my MAC strobe cream or I use my cover effects drop so I'm gonna use these these are amazing um, as always I'll have the shades and everything down below but yeah let me know how you guys like this background I'm currently against my freaking closet because I feel like a white background is just better and like more pleasing to look at so I put this on the high points just these two and then maybe a little bit on my nose and above my brow but I just blend this in before my foundation so I kind of get that glowy like that glowiness from within but really it's not from within like it's just it's just my cover effects really so I just blend that in with my finger I'm gonna go in with my foundation this is the Fenty hydrating foundation Okay, so two pumps of this, and oh my, so I'm obviously just uh, blending this. <laughs> okay, so now that it's blended in, and I'm sure it's not really blended in my neck, I really like the way that this foundation just sits on my skin. I feel like it just enhances my natural skin and just, I don't know, I really like the finish. But as I said in my last video, I wouldn't recommend this for people who have really oily skin because it is a hydrating foundation, so it might leave you too oily because if you do have oily skin, you kind of want something that's going to combat that oiliness. I just kind of add a little bit more full rewind um i just add a little bit of foundation wherever i feel like i need more coverage and i just lightly blend it in and i'm sorry if i keep calling my morphe sponge a beauty blender it's just like it just comes out you know i actually like both the morphe sponge and the beauty blender i really don't have a preference in this hair oh honey do not come at i literally just bobby pin this Hello? Okay, so now that that's done, I'm going to go in with my contour stick and put that on my cheekbones. As I said in my other video, I go a little bit above my cheekbones to really like lift my face. I'll go around my forehead. Some days I don't cream contour. If you're gonna go in with a bronzer, you don't necessarily have to, but I feel like it just, doing cream products, cream bronzer, cream blush, I feel like it just locks in my whole look. Like honestly, Doing this foundation routine and this whole routine, I feel like my makeup really does stay like all day. So yeah, cause it kind of just adds like that base color. And I also am blending, I'm not like blending below my cheekbone. I'm blending almost like upwards from where I put it because I don't want any of the bronzer or like I should say contour to go below that like cheekbone area because then it can kind of make it look a little bit muddy and it can also just make you look not as snatched but what i like about this chubby stick is it doesn't really dry down too quickly so i can literally like put this all over my face and then blend it out but for some products you kind of need to like go section by section like your one cheekbone your other cheekbone just because sometimes they don't blend out sometimes they just dry down a little bit quicker i put the contour like on my browish area so that's just kind of gonna taper in my nose a bit it's just gonna kind of like cast that shadow there and I am putting whatever products left over onto my eyes the problem that I'm seeing here is that some of my like spots are coming out so sometimes I have to go back in with my 
foundation to kind of like go over that because I feel like sometimes you know you just need to build up the coverage and that's also why I like this foundation is it is you can really use it as like a light to medium coverage but you could really go full coverage with this stuff if you just apply more and just building it up chin neck area I don't really do my chin I kind of like do the double chin I like go fully below <laughs> And obviously blend everything down your neck and also blend towards your ears like literally put it on your ear like trust okay trust i'm gonna go in with my highlighter i'm using the born this way multi sculpting concealer and i like to put a little bit on my chin highlighter and contour is really something that you can kind of customize to your face so so if you have a bigger forehead or something like that maybe you want to put more contour on your forehead if you have a small forehead you don't even need to put bronzer or contour there if you have just like this like i feel like i want to elongate my face so i'm gonna put some on my chin I'm going to put some under my nose just because I can get red there. And then I put some down the bridge of my nose because I kind of want to create like a nose contour. But I'm kind of bad at doing nose contours with actual contour. And then I put a little bit under my eyes. I don't need that much because this product does go a long way. So I like to do that just under where we bronze. So then it can really like carve that out and give more of a defined cheekbone and as always i normally blend out my eyes last just because i don't care if the concealer dries down a bit because pretty much if you allow your concealer to dry down a bit it will it'll kind of have more coverage if that makes sense because it'll kind of be dried down a bit so it's not necessarily if you're using a brush that this would happen but especially if you're using a sponge just because obviously if you're using a sponge you know a sponge is a sponge and it's going to absorb product no matter what that's just kind of like inevitable so if you are using a sponge and you want more coverage in an area allow that concealer to kind of dry down a bit and then go in and blend it out so that's why i like to do my under eyes last just because i want that area nice and bright and radiant and i also do like the bridge of my nose last like i do this whole kind of middle area at the very end of my routine and then i'm kind of blending it up past my eye and really like lifting my eye the only thing that i don't like about this morphe sponge that i like more on the beauty blender is that this tip is you know it's good but this this one is just so much more like pointed so you can really get into like this area of your eye much easier i find but i mean the morphe sponge still does the job it's just i find not as easy and um i'm also bringing the excess product just on over to my eyes like my eyelids just to kind of conceal them so once again my favorite product if you really want like glowy and radiant skin and you know maybe this isn't the foundation for you and you know you don't really like hydrating foundations I really recommend getting a liquid blush that has a little bit of shimmer in it you obviously don't need to get this exact one this is one I just love it lasts all day and it's the NARS liquid blush in the shade orgasm I just tap it onto the apples of my cheeks but it just oh, like honestly, I said in my last video how much I like this stuff because it just makes such a difference in your skin. I really just think it makes your skin like look absolutely amazing. I just don't know how to how else to like explain it. Especially in the summer when you're tanned. Like it just with a tan it, it just looks amazing because it really just looks like wow, you've been out of the sun, like you have some color to you. You look healthy. Like no, I haven't been sitting in my bed majority of the day, sitting in my pajamas, watching Netflix. No, I look healthy. I look radiant. I just feel like that alone just brings the contour, the highlight, and it just marries. It just... So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off um, the foundation on my lips. Before I do my lips, I like to put on lip injection so they can kind of get like plumped. Lip injection really, really works really well. So, I like to do that and it'll kind of just, as I'm finishing up my makeup, my lips will be plump. And by the time I'm done, I'm ready to do my lips. So, a win-win situation. For some people, you know, if you have a little bit brighter of a lip, like a natural lip color, maybe you want to keep the concealer on your lips. Um, I know a lot of people do that, like Nikki Tutorials, for example, does that because she has really, really bright lips. So, for example, you know, if she was to take off that concealer and put on a nude lip, her natural lip would just shine through with, you know, your average lipstick. 
maybe not so much with a liquid lip or something like that but that's just a little tip so weirdly enough if i do my face first i kind of like literally do my whole routine in reverse because if i do my eyes first i do like eyebrows eyes face but if i do my face first i'll do face eyes eyebrows or face eyebrows eyes that's just me and that's just how i do things so i'm going to set my face i'm using my mac studio fix once again and just tapping it to perfection and blending this down my neck because my foundation is a little too tanned for me and then i'll just kind of put it onto my eyes put it on your ear put it everywhere okay so then i'm going to conceal I'm, I'm going to conceal what i'm going to contour so using my Too faced bronzer Lumis angled brush funny enough this angled brush is kind of not stiff but um What's the word? What's the word? Firm? No. Packed? Anyways, it's kind of like stiffer in this area. So I use only kind of like this section of the brush because it's a little bit fluffier and I like a fluffier brush to use for um, bronzer and contouring just because it's a lot easier to just get a softer bronzing up of your face rather than like a harsh contour. In my last video I talked about holding down on the brush just to help you be lighter handed so you can even see especially with my bronzer I really hold it farther down just to really get that soft bronze. I'm gonna kind of bring it up to my temples and I'll bring it down onto my cheeks a bit just to kind of you know get that bronzy feel like Yes, I might be pale, but I look a little bronze today. And then I always do my neck and then I'll bring it up kind of the side. So again, I'm putting like a little bit on my brush and I'm going to do the tip of my nose. So I like to do this because it'll just kind of like lift the nose. It just kind of makes it look a little cute. And I'll go kind of up the sides of my nose too, just a bit, like using a really light pressure. Like I'm honestly like hardly touching my face with the brush. And then the reason why I like to do my brows after this, because I'm able to really go in on my bronzer and kind of do like that brow bone area. That will really like sculpt right here. And it'll actually make your nose appear a little bit slimmer which who doesn't love that am i right or am i right going in from that brow bone i'll kind of like use this big brush and kind of like go into my crease a bit just kind of like makes everything cohesive and just add some depth back into your eyes because right now we only have like foundation on them so they might look a little bit like flat so just to add that dimension back in so now i'm finally going to set all the places that i highlighted under so i kind of like get some on my brush Tap off the excess and brush it and then buff it in. And I'll kind of like pat it in too. So patting or swirling the brush. I do it like down the nose, under the eye. I don't put too much powder under the eye because I feel like if I can do that, it can really just look dry and cakey. So then I like to kind of put this brush in like the inner part of my eye. I like to not bake, but almost contour the sides of my nose with highlighter and put it on the side of my nose like that. And sometimes on the bridge of my nose, on the tip. And sometimes I'll let that sit, sometimes depending on how I feel. If it was the summer and I'd naturally probably be like a little bit more oily than normal, I would let this sit on my face, but because I'm really just gonna be in inside for the rest of the day, stay quarantine um i'm not gonna do that so i kind of just put it in and then i press it in until the powder just kind of disappears and i feel like this is just a foolproof way of contouring your nose without worrying about like making it look like a brown muddy bronzy mess so now i'm gonna go in with blush blush is my friend and we like her here we like her on this channel I actually want to purchase another blush because I actually only have one blush. I say that as if like you need more blushes, but like you do, you know? If you're someone like me, you do. So comment down below if you guys have any blushes you guys recommend. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera just because I feel like I'm gonna do an actual like in-depth brow routine of how I do my brows. So I'm not gonna spend time doing that. Now that I have my brows done, I'm just gonna set them really quickly. I just like to like brush my brows up and it just kind of gives that feathered effect. And then if some of my hairs kind of go past like my brow a bit because they're like they're a little bit long, I'll kind of go like this and just put them into shape. So now what I'm gonna do, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. And I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush, just make sure that there's nothing on it. And I'm gonna go and use my bronzer just because it just is gonna make the look kind of all come together. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in my crease. 
just to really add that dimension and like shadow. And sometimes I'll even like brush a little bit under the eye. So now I'm going to curl my lashes. Where's my eyelash curler? Ooh, I'm also gonna put on my lip injection. I forgot to do that actually when I came back from the washroom. I said this in my last video. I had the red version of it, which I actually went to the store to get just the original version because that's what I've always been using. But it was sold out sadly. So I got this version, but I actually really like it because I kind of like how it gives that little bit of like a pink. I don't know, because I thought when the lady was like, oh, you could get this one. I was like, I don't want that one. Like that is freaking red. Like I came to get clear and you're giving me red. No. Anyways, and she was like, oh, it's really sheer, honestly. Like, it's really not pigmented. And Sis was right. I feel like this is such, like, a nice everyday gloss if you just needed to, like, grab it and go. Because it also will plump your lips. So, like, who doesn't love that? And now I'm going to comb out with this. It's kind of a deep break. Tea break. Okay, so now I'm going to do my mascara. And then I'm going to set my face. We're going to do a few other fun things. So, I just like to blink and wiggle it up. So, might as well even go down to just make sure that the whole lash is coated. And that's a good trick to do if you did eyeshadow because sometimes the eyeshadow can just naturally fall onto your lashes. And then I'll kind of take the tip of the mascara wand and just make sure that I get those itty bitty little lashes in the inner corner. Another thing that I see a lot of people do is to like go in and like just keep going into their mascara to get more. And that'll actually dry out your mascara. So literally when I do my lashes, I actually just take it out once and it'll coat my whole lash and it'll coat it like well and I see a lot of people I don't even want to do it but I'm I'll do it for the purpose of this video they'll go like this one that is not going to do anything to get more product out and it'll actually really dry out your mascara so don't do that I'm going to spray my face with my all nighter pollution protection Fan that in and then I'll take my powder brush sometimes I'll add powder sometimes I don't press it into the skin and what that's gonna do is it's really just gonna press the setting powder into the skin and just set everything into place. And what I love about setting spray is that it really just brings that life back to your face. It really, if your face is really, really powdery, if you use a lot of powders, then it'll really just kind of make it look like skin again. So I like doing that little tapping thing. And last but not least, I'm going to be doing my highlighter. I'm actually going to be using my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero. I love this palette. It is actually now back in stock. So I really, really highly recommend going and getting this because this is a limited edition. And I also love Nicole Guerrero. Like she's just one of those YouTubers I've watched for years and I have learned so much from her. I'm actually going to take that blush brush and I like to go into Kitty Cat, which is this little like pink shade right here. And this is just gonna kind of give me even more of a glow. Bada boom, bada bing. And then I'm going to use my Amrezy highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter of all time. This is also limited edition, but I'm pretty sure it's still in stores, I think. And yes, I'm going to add more highlighter, but I'm just gonna focus it at like the very top of the cheek. Oh my god, my freaking nose it's like itchy and then i'll kind of even like brush a little onto my brow bone you could use a little or brush to be super precise this is a great dupe for the anastasia um highlighting brush a lot of people use this is only like i think like 10 11 so i really like it it's by morphe if you're a little bit oilier you might not want to put on as much highlighter it really just depends on your skin and how your skin kind of reacts and holds up during the day and then i'm gonna take this little pencil kind of brush and put it on my nose if i wasn't to put my cover effects on before my foundation I'll actually put it on now as my highlighter. And I know a lot of people say, and even I say, like you're supposed to do liquids before powders, but I find that cover effects one, like putting on this liquid highlighter and just blending it, tapping it in with your finger, it really doesn't disrupt anything underneath. Or sometimes you can get highlighters where they almost will take off the foundation and everything underneath. But yeah, but that really doesn't do anything. And I'll put a little bit of highlighter kind of like on that area of my bridge. I don't put it all the way down the bridge of my nose. If I had like a cute little nose, then definitely, but we don't do that here. 
<laughs> we don't do that here. Okay, so next thing that I'm going to do is my lips. Sometimes I'll literally just wear the lip injection. I'm gonna use my Morphe Sweetheart Lip Liner. And again, I'm kind of starting from my natural lip line and then slowly overlining it. And then I'll overline my Cupid's bow. This is a lip combo I do every single day. Um, sometimes I'll normally switch up like the lip liner. Sometimes I'll use my Huda Beauty Trophy Wife or another Morphe lip liner. I normally go in with Velvet Teddy. Put that on my lips. It's just like a nice pinky nude. And then I'll go in with my matte frost lipstick in Angel. This is like a light pink and it kind of has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. Rub that all together. I'm actually going to put a little bit of highlighter in my inner corner. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. It literally just depends on the day. But I'm going to use my Artist Couture for that because this stuff is pigmented. I like using my little pencil brush for this. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me today and seeing my everyday makeup. So as always, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. It also just lets me know that you guys like these type of videos. So yeah, comment down below if you guys have any questions, comments, if you guys do this look or, you know, really if you guys have anything to say, I'd love to hear it. And also subscribe if you'd like to see more of me. Also, if you do subscribe, you can click that little bell button in the corner it'll pretty much just notify you guys when i upload you can either click it or not whatever floats your boat but yeah i'm done happy quarantine happy quarantining to everyone and i'll see you guys in my next video bye we're just going with the flow you know what i mean you know what i mean i really should have slicked this part of my hair but a little bit too light now in it when you live in the uk <gasps>